Howdy, howdy, and welcome to another wonderful episode of The Evil Within. This should be part 16. Oh, I guess I didn't save last time after my video. Uh, last time we did this, we went into the estate, which looks like it's Ruvik's childhood home. He also doesn't look like he's uh, burned yet, so maybe that'll change soon. I don't know. Um, I also noticed uh, I had a card on Steam. If you play games on Steam, they give cards. One for the woman is called Laura, apparently. So I think that might be her name. Uh, the, the woman on the ground that ate my face, and, or tried to eat my face, and stomped my skull to the ground a few times when I was trying to burn her to death. I mean, understandably, trying to burn her to death, I'm upset, but I mean, like, come on. Otherwise, uh, let's get back into it. We gotta figure out the mysteries of the manor. Why are we here? Why did I do brain surgery on a corpse? Why is a child doing brain surgery on people? That looks like this is some red liquid. That's probably the blood from the person. Hiding from Ruvik? How do I? What do I do? I can't find him. I've already tried that, and he kills me every time. Survival, just move around. Oh my god, I can give someone a haircut. It's been so long. You definitely look like you could use a haircut. You're kind of bald, but you know what? We'll give you a. Oh no, never mind. Jesus Christ, and it was a counter haircut. Don't worry, I'll burn this corpse for you. There you go. Don't you worry, your sweet little head. That haircut would have been free. For the best haircut of your life. Boy, now you're burning for it. Just let me give you a haircut, man. Customers nowadays always so rowdy. I don't for the best haircuts in town, but they want to fight me about it. Oh, it's a typewriter. Space bar to pick up. What am I picking up? Oh, a bottle! Yeah, let's I wanna try this. Hey, yeah! <laughs> I'm glad that works. That's fun. That's cool. Oh, I can't bust their windows out. Darn. So yeah, it looks like when the uh, Ruvik the Magical appears, I just need to run for my life. What if there's a secret bookshelf? Secret, secret tunnel type of thing here. Hold the right book. Be released. Can I go up here? I can. Ooh. I wonder what's up top. Absolutely nothing. Oh, there's a person with a knife. That just magically stood up. Jesus Christ. It was laying flat on the ground. Just whoop, popped up like it was nothing. That's glowy. It's got a safe dial. Zero through 24. Oh, that's up here. Right? It's the cult. About to execute someone. Ruvik, did you get executed for the cult? That kind of looks like something that's happening. The family had something to do with the cult. Because he said his dad uh, believed in the cult. Back when I discovered the village, he was talking about how his dad believed the cult was right. No matter what the cult did, no matter what the church did, they were right. So I wonder if something happened and the cult demanded the child as a sacrifice. Even though they're a rich family. <laughs> A nice bedroom. Hey, it's that picture. The manor with the eye. Except, I don't quite know if that's what that is. Kind of what I'm assuming. Groovik's room note. I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked with moonlit eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore a favorite red dress like a crimson sunset. Like a streak of blood in the waning light. Laura, of course you couldn't be dead. Uh, okay, so maybe it's to get his sister back? Because that's the, that's the woman that had the claws that myrtleized me. Like, I'm fairly certain. Control to hide. Oh. I wouldn't see a point of hiding until now, when Ruvik's entering the scene to myrtleize me. Now I can hide, because he's a boss I can't kill. Wait. Can they check that? They've got no idea. They don't know. How could they know? Just bop out. Bop! Bop him in the head. Oh, 
Oh, oh, spaghetti. Oh. I can't rotate T. I'm gonna give you a haircut. You actually have hair. And right off the top, you know. Right, don't worry, I went around the spike. We're very careful with customers that have special needs. We understand that not all, all people have magical hair. Not all people can look as hot as I can. But that's okay. Matches. <laughs> Sorry, it appears I have disarmed or upsetting spaghetti the bomb. There we go. Wow. You are terrifyingly ugly. No haircut for you. You get free buckshot, or free shells in the face. Not buckshot. This is buckshot. Big door. Quick. That door no opens, though. Unfortunate. Better luck next time. Ooh. Toilet goop. My favorite. Ooh, a map piece. Map fragmento. You hear a woman laughing? I'm hiding. Scared of women. They are terrifying. Every 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 time I see a woman, danger. Fight or flight kicks in. All right. So this is Rubik's home ground. So now I'm in Rubik's head. Shit. I've got no idea what that was. That's. <laughs> What? What grabbed my leg? What the hell was that? I didn't even see a trap. It just grabbed me and pulled me. The red dress. The body. A woman's body. Ah, Grenadu. Grenade. Am I going to be like fighting a lot of monsters here? Funny, I just played another game that was in a manner too. Uh, State of, not State of Decay, Nightmare of Decay, something like that. Yeah, I think it was Nightmare of Decay. Some new game that came out recently on Steam. It's pretty good, but it's always manners. Everyone in their rich manners are always the villains. I can't. Oh, there we go. So I can't attack. What? I'm gonna burn you because I don't trust you. That's all right. Don't bother getting up. Oh my god! It was on fire and he jumped on me! Bing, bing. Bing, bing. I'm amazing. That was terrifying. Okay, yeah, if Ruby comes out, just run. The only real thing I can do. Oh God! <sighs> How far back am I? How far back am I? Please don't tell me I'm back at the. Is this the beginning of the episode? Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, I'm all the way back here. I'm 100% all the way back. That was... Ah, oh, this... I, I hate this, man. Alright, I'll be right back, everyone. I'm gonna try speedrun it. Hoopoo, pee pee, I got attacked. That's an update. Alright, keep going. No haircuts. Fuck shot for everyone. This what happens when you make the barber angry. No haircuts. We're closed. All right, keep moving. No! Yo, I'm under a bed. I found a new room, self. So. Hello, welcome. Everyone, welcome back. I'm upsetting spaghetti still. I've wasted time because Rubik has murderized me. I'm hiding under a bed. I don't know how to not make Rubik upsetting spaghetti with me. I do not wish to repeat the mistakes of yonder past, though. Huh, whack. No loot. Excellent. That's my favorite is when I open a drawer and there's nothing. Go through here. Hopefully Rubik can't get through here. 
Hello. Again. Their head. All right. Cool. Rubik, mad scientist, confirmed. Oh, he's alive. Subject number twelve. Test seventy-one B. Electrode placement E two. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion, and memory allocation. Fear center of the brain. Here, A two. Subject feels as I do. This vessel is far too weak to withstand the psychological weight I myself bear daily. Interesting. So he is trying to find someone's brain to take over. That's definitely what's happening here. Let's see if this is the right place. Because I don't know what happens if I'm wrong. I made a beep noise. The good beep. That man is alive, though. His eyes are moving. He is aware. Odd is terrifying. 100% a dream, though, because there's no way that's naturally happening. I would never imagine someone strapped to a machine could just survive something like this. covered in bandages so i think he is a burn victim uh, apparently he didn't kill his parents though i don't remember seeing that when i came into here those are definitely two parents dead i assume this was to hide from ruvik because i can't fight him and i just gotta survive him and he teleports to stop me though so i have to be careful i don't know i need to save though but i don't want to die again i'm gonna get upset if i die look at it Detective Castellonis on the case. I need to save. I need to save. Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less No! No! Oh, it saved! Oh, I'm I'm okay. That this is fine. I was just gonna let the anger and stuff marinate. Colon. I didn't know that's where the colon was. That's interesting. Not really. I'll forget that immediately. I'm glad it saved. Oh, father. Oh, father. I don't think father cares. If you only knew how satisfying look on your faces. Bye, Rubik. Don't care, Rubik. No one cares, Rubik. I'd be nice to you, but you're murdering everyone inside this home right now, me included, so I don't want your opinion. I did not ask for it. I will not perceive it. You can speak it. My brain will deny it. It will be focused on that Animal Crossing song that's Maximum always stuck in my head. stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The sounds scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, concern, trust. Hello! These are pivotal. But which will open the way? So he's trying to build someone else's brain to withstand him, I think. That's what it seems like. He's just trying to body hop. That was kind of my guess from the beginning. Wow. Number two. I know Rubik's a booty muncher, so we're gonna save really fast. I have no idea how long this episode is right now. Worrying? Have you seen what the hell's going on out there? It is terrifying, ma'am. Rubik's murdering me. I'm in a mansion with people that just try to murder me. Everything's so nice and friendly. Why would I be worried? Reloaded, I had to check my gun. Yeah, it checks out. Last time I 
fact that I thought Ruby came and tried to kill me, so I didn't know if that was the cause. Give me the loot. Oh. You like a haircut, madam? Yes, you would! Hello. You are our second customer of the day. Please stop trying to stomp her to the ground. Castle Otis, I assure you, she's done. You will get no response from her on this day. All the wackage, all the loot, let's scoop. <laughs> Not my business. Whatever creepy child demon, Jesus Christ. Whatever creepy child demon's laughing, doesn't matter. I will not be a concern. I will mind my business, I will collect the goop, and I will move on. We would have probably had a nice home, though. I mean, this home looks pretty cool. It wasn't destroyed. I took better care of it, Rubik. Darts. Only a sign of a trap nearby, right? Two words separated by jagged chasm. Above, faceless spectators. Mocking the tragedy. Below, helpless victims losing everything. I'm full on grenades. I don't use those enough, to be honest with you. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. So I have one half of it. Where's the other half? So that was the top half of the painting I found, right? I'm guessing so. They're still upstairs. I need to loot. I haven't got too much progress in, so if Ruby kills me, I won't be that upsetty spaghetti. Kick. Wait, I already went through here. Kick. Again. Kick. Excellent. That's the sister. That's the woman. Ah, there we go. Two to nine. Yeah. Okay, so this takes more sense. The cult demanded the sacrifice of Ruvik's sister. Okay. Rubik did say he saw her. Oh, it's that big statue I always break. Can I leave or am I trapped? I feel like this is a bad idea. Say, hey, Rubik, your sister's trying to kill me or something. I don't know what she wants. Rubik kept saying, I swear I see her at the end of the halls. Maybe Rubik also has something going on, like PTSD. It's causing him to see ghosts. Yep, there it is. I'm guessing that's Ruvik's mother and that's Ruvik's sister. No, his mother had brown hair. I don't know. I just took it as that's Ruvik's sister on there. So she got sacrificed by the cult. Archive. What was the thing that was here? Personal documents. Oh, category. I honestly don't know here. Probably these, right? Music room. Two words. Two worlds separated by a jagged chasm. Above faceless spectators mocking the tragedy. Below helpless victims losing everything. Yeah. That's cool. But what's the freaking numbers? I don't know what the numbers are. Is it one and two? Oh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and two. Eleven on top, two on bottom. Baby. Uh huh. I went the long way, but I am dedicated. Eleven on top, two on bottom. Ten, eleven. I was right, unfortunately. Jesus Christ, I got covered in the goo. Another one of Rubik's fun rooms? Oh my god, all the face safes. I don't understand what the face safe man's supposed to be still. Oh my god. Assumption number 14, test 88C, uh, big priming, temp 3, electro placement C4, stimulation of the cingulate cortex, a hope center. Okay. Assailing the 
of access improves domination of the subject's will, but domination isn't enough. This is how he's taking them over. Hold, C4. That one? Should be next to that one. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, insert. Hey, sir, this might- you might feel a tingling sensation. Don't worry about it. Ah, yes, the goop extractor. Respirator model. Ah, oh, that is a respirator, so those people are alive somehow, though that would kill you from infection. All right, Ruvik, I'm done playing your sick games. The hospital has not received the family's usual donation this year. And why would they? Has the hospital been doing anything worthy of donation? The Victoriano family has always been a generous contributor. Where are your parents? They have gone away. When do you expect them? Is there something you wish to discuss, Doctor? I came to inform you that the hospital will no longer be able to provide you with assistance. Materials. Patience. Your research will very quickly disintegrate. How dare you come into my home and threaten me? I don't think he threatened you. But clearly you ain't being subtle about it. Well, yeah, Ruvik was using patience to test this. I'm guessing that guy stole his research and made the machine, and then Ruvik somehow made it to the hospital and turned the machine on. About Merc time! That Castellanos just said a no-no word. We are going to save because I think I'm over my 20-minute limit because I'm an idiot. Lady, I forget things all the time. I'd probably forget my shoes. But I have to wear them all the time on my feet, you know? I'd lose them. Either way, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you liked what you saw. I plan on playing more of this game and I think we're close to beating it. I quite don't know how it's gonna wrap up. It's making more sense though. Ruvik's a mad genius. The doctor's a mad genius. Two mad geniuses come together. They make a machine that makes everyone mad, literally. But if you like what you saw, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, or even subscribe to my channel. I do keep on, I do play horror games and I keep on, I plan to keep on doing so if I get the words out correctly. But that is all I have time for this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you had a wonderful time, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye-bye.